Welcome to another version of Horizon Folk Civilization, Dawn of Civilization, version 1.17. This is the latest new release of Horizon Folk, Dawn of Civilization. I believe this one was released in February. I downloaded it and was playing around with it last night to get a feel for it. Um, there really haven't been any major changes, but I think the next version, 1.18, will include a new map. Um, with a new map projection that's supposed to improve things. Hopefully they can improve this wonkiness in Southeast Asia here, where I just don't think there are enough tiles. You got three countries represented here, Vietnam, Lao, and Thailand. Uh, but it doesn't quite work because Lao is a landlocked country, and if you give them this tile, then that's adjacent to the ocean. That doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. They need to widen Southeast Asia. I'll leave it up to them to worry about. Anyway, today we are playing as the Khmer people, or if you have the privilege of traveling to Cambodia, you might hear them call themselves the Khmer. Um, this square and the one north of it probably is meant to represent Cambodia. Two whole squares, two whole tiles. And I think it's best, honestly, if instead of building your capital in Angkor Wat on this tile, if you move one over, and this would be Bangkok, build the capital here. Then you pick up the clams, and you're going to free up some space here for Saigon. The other option, I tried this last night, I played a couple times to get a feel for it, and the other option I tried was to go down here to Singapore. I honestly think it's better though to take Saigon, um, so that's what we're going to try to do here. Bang Macaque. Uh, we should probably start with... Uh, it doesn't matter at this at the current moment, because I need to get the missionaries in here. Part of our unique historical objectives are four Hindu ashrams, these are the monastery buildings, and four Buddhist sanghas, also monasteries, and you have to build the wonder of Wat Prayer, this which I believe is the main temple at Angkor Wat. In order to do that, we have to convert to some religions. Also, before I forget, let's go to the Science Advisor and get started here. We need civil service to build Wat Prayer Pisano. Pismolo. I don't know how to say that, I apologize. Uh, okay. Now, we're gonna build our first Hindu Ashram. Um, and. Because we need four ashrams and four of the Buddhist monastery things, we need four cities. So our other cities are going to be Saigon. We need to conquer Pagan. By the time we conquer Pagan, um, the precursor to the Dai Viet will spawn here in Hanoi, and we can conquer them too. That will be our four cities. So we got this army of elephants. Just move them up here. Oh, oh. oh no. We're going to work on a uh, quarry first. Uh, move over to Saigon. And let's go say hi to the Japanese. Ships. Okay. Oh, okay, so I think this is part of the new version. You get this little mini um, game here when you start. It's the advanced start mini game. I guess you could call it a game or a quest or something. And you get to choose some improvements. You have 90 points here, so... Uh, I was doing this last night and I did a really good job of using all of my points. It's 54 for the quarry. The elephant hunting camp, 36, and the roads I think are 18, and the mine is like 35, 36. Honestly, I think I did the mine and the hunting camp, and it worked out perfectly. Fingers crossed. And we have 18 left for the road. Alright, so that's your advanced start minigame. You get to choose your improvements. 
there are also uh, city buildings you can make, which is add to population. Might have been a good idea. Somebody will have to tell me in the comments what I should have done there. Okay, I actually wanted to keep the archer in Bangkok. Chinese are here. Eventually we're going to need this for the beret to get our unique historic objective, but that's the second objective and I'm not worried about it yet. We need to beeline for the first one, which was the religious monasteries, but we don't have any religion in this city yet. So what am I going to build? I think could work on... Because uh, that will take too long. Probably the archer. And the harbor, I think we're going to need that for sure. Let's do that. I would be tempted to go explore with these guys, but I'd actually rather build an explorer because they get a bonus when they encounter a native village and they have better outcomes. I don't know if I'm going to have time to build the explorer though. We got a beeline for our unique objectives. Built the quarry, the road is already finished. You know, I'm pretty sure one of the unique uh, characteristics of the Khmer is they build improvements more quickly because they built that so fast. It's like a 50% faster improvement rate or something. Um, we can check in the Sivlochia. Unique power. Move through jungles and rainforests. Ah, no. Alright, they don't build any faster. I thought for sure they would build any faster. Because that was really fast. It seems like it takes forever to build terrain and movements. So this. Uh, this tile here is going to be Hanoi. up into like Wow or northern Myanmar. Okay. Well there's no one else to meet here. I don't think there's anyone else to meet anywhere. Control that tile too. All right, we have to go to war now. Oh, there's only one archer. That should be a piece of cake. Yeah. Notice I came all the way around here to get on the right side of the river because I'm sure you're aware of this. But if you attack across the river, you get a uh, penalty. Manos. I think honestly I want another mine. Probably right.
burn it to the ground, increases the ability to penalty, which is pretty severe. I don't know what this does. Distribute 75 gold and see what the city spares. So I'm pillaging 51. What does this mean? I pay 75 to keep them as an independent state? I'm afraid to click it because I just want to control them. But I am curious what that option would do. Now we just wait for it. I don't to spawn. I want to trade scholarships for 72. Huh. It's almost worth doing. But I'd like to talk to everyone else first and see what they've got. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, goody. What is it spread? All right, let's make that trade. If you'll still have it. And the medieval era, I guess, because we got, what, fortification? We should just go straight to this thing, the Buddhist Sangha, because that is our unique objective. haven't yet colonized, what is this, Java? I don't remember. This one's Sumatra. This is Borneo. Usually the Indonesians move down here. I think that's Java. And Pagan is ready to build. Oh, we have Hinduism here. And so we want to build the Wrong. Notice it takes only 45 turns, whereas the Buddhist equivalent takes 90. That's because our state religion is Hinduism, and we're like organized religion or some form of government. Let's see. There's a reason why that's. But I don't see the reason. Oh! That's why they're building the improvements so quickly, because of the caste system. Ah, I knew it seemed so fast. But why does the ashram, the Hindu ashram, build more quickly? 25% wonder production. Well, there's another reason somewhere out there. I'm stumped. I don't know why the ashram builds twice as fast, but it does. This is your state religion. Maybe that's the default bonus if you have the state religion. Beats me. We're gonna send the other elephant in case this fails. We're gonna cross the river. Let's see. Only 67% from the wrong side of the river. Let's cross and see what the odds are. hoping for you to convert to Hinduism. Now I don't have to do it. And now it's fixed up to 2%, so we got like an extra 5% more favorable odds here. Uh, mm, mm, do I want to 
want to go for it or wait for the third one. Might as well do it. Archer here and move one of the elephants back to Bangkok. We're gonna need more archers, we still need an explorer, we could use an extra worker, and we don't have time to do any of that because we have to beeline for all this stupid religious stuff. So I put the archer here because Hanoi is on hills, archers get a bonus when they're stationed on hills, and also that's going to help um, as a deterrent against the Chinese. We're going to have to build up here. Uh, the Chinese are quite powerful, although they're usually teetering on the edge of collapse at this point. If they did collapse, that would be wonderful, because then we would get all of these tiles, including the copper, banana, maybe even the silk. And we need to build another workboat for those um, clams. Uh, so much to do and no time to do any of it. One thing I wonder about being the Khmer is if you would then pick Yes, yes, shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet now. One thing, as I was saying, I was wondering about the Khmer is if you would benefit to converting to uh, slavery. And then I think you can get slaves and you can use the slaves from combat to rush some of the production of these military units. And actually, if you know anything about the Khmer, uh, they were a slaving society. They were quite brutal. They had lots of slaves and they treated them very poorly. So that would make sense, and yet the creators of the games did not choose slavery. By default, you're the caste system. Can't you be both? We got our mind going. Um, yeah, that's good. That's great. Should we build another mine? What are we needing? Spices, we get us a little bit of money. More money. Oh, well, you get a little bit of food out of the spices, I should do that. A lot of food out of the bananas. I don't think food's gonna be a problem. That's only our second objective. I'm focusing on the first, and we're gonna need a lot of production for the first. Oh my god, why aren't we using the elephants? Jeez, I want the hammers. Okay, uh, that still leaves a problem what to build here. Uh, let's do another mine. And this is the edge of the world for the Khmer people. Yes, already. Uh, yes, already. And this is the edge of the world. And there's no going past unless I want to declare war on these independent city states in India. What do they got here? Just archers and this thing. Apatiyadaha. Uh, I don't want to mess with that because they have walls. So, it'd be nice if I had an explorer and I could go pick up some tribal villages over in Borneo or Papua New Guinea or Australia. And this is a can do just that. Um, scout, that's what I want.
ready for that engine thing. Scout. We sneak down to our wisdom. That was a superfluous move, yeah, I know. My people are adopting Hinduism and I'm not even trying. It saves me a lot of effort. Oh, wonderful. Okay. What's next? Did you get those pigs? We need to do the pigs. Hold the pasture on the pigs. Uh, we don't have time for things like roads. We can build roads everywhere today. Now we're gonna go look for the tribal villages. I told you the scouts and explorers, they get better results when they go to the tribal village. If I had sent the archer, they probably would have given me some shit. I'm sure there's another tribal village or two in Australia. Do some diplomacy. Okay then. So I got those two things and the uh, civil service is coming up in two turns. I've got two turns to do something else. And work out. It's five. I also need another worker. It's eight. Are you serious? Oh my god. Ouch. Let's do the work vote then. For sure, it's here somewhere. I think it's on the other side. I think I have 40 turns to get my first objective. So, keep that in mind because it's the year 1005. And we have to get the first objective by 1,200. That's five years per turn, that's 40 turns on this difficulty level. We're gonna need some mines if we're gonna do it. I think Pagan is the laggard. This one is gonna be the last one to finish. It's the slowest. 
I guess it makes sense they represent Burma quite accurately here, where it's always on the cusp of conquest and being conquered by one empire or another, or dysfunctional or fractious. Even the geography, you know, it's all rainforest and tons of resources, but rainforests and mountains are difficult to pass and difficult to develop. Uh, we're up here at Cape Capricorn or something, and there it is. Another trade with the Japanese. Mm, it's almost fair. Just about. Do you have any more gold? Oh, you can give me more gold, dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got an extra 10 gold there. But... Work has begun on the harbor. It's a good idea, but is there anything else we can build? There is this one. It only takes six turns, that's not too bad. And we've still got 37 turns to finish this. Work on the harbor for a bit. In fact, we could probably work on growing a bit, slow it down a bit. That would be good. Workboat, after the workboat, we go on to this one. Prayer is look. We'll have time to finish that. And then after this, we need to go for the Buddhist. Oh no! They have not yet adopted Buddhism. I overlooked that. Uh, which means, instead of the harbor, we need a Buddhist monk. It's called a bhikkhu. 27 turns for this, we only have 37 to finish it all. Oh my god, a 90 for the Sangha? We're not gonna win. Not unless we get those mines up. We need lots of mines too. And there's only one within our territory. China's collapsing. Cross your fingers and pray that it happens. Probably by the time I finish this stupid monk, they're gonna have already converted on their own accord. But we have to do it because we don't know that. <sighs> okay. Fingers crossed, hope for the best. Could have used an extra worker. Um what is this? New South Wales, Victoria, New South Wales. out there to explore Australia. Nice job. Thank you. 
So in contact with the Japs. Still nothing. Japan has built a major castle. Alright, go explore. I don't think there are any more tribal villages we can reach. I know there's one on New Zealand. Honestly, that's probably it. Sometimes there's one in Papua New Guinea, but I think they changed that. Maybe sometimes in Sri Lanka, but again, I think they changed it. Everything else in Eurasia and Africa has been had. And I'm a long ways away from visiting the Americas. Okay. That's just a little bit in Bagan. Oh, we need to reallocate this tile to the Burmese. But then they're not growing. Jeez, this is kind of gross. That's the only option that has any hammers at all. But if I build a plantation, no plantation, no hammer. Uh, road, road, road. Fuck it, we don't have time for roads. And this is why Burma never gets properly developed because we don't have time. We gotta get the historical victory objective. Seven turns. Hooray for the cast system. It's a great system. It would be nice to get paper here and I can make a little profit selling my map of Australia. I don't think anyone else has been there yet. It's only a year 10. Okay. So, turns out I'm probably going to need this Buddhist monk to convert the people in Hanoi. How are we doing? Let's do some micromanaging. Room to grow. We'll make it. Saigon or Prenapur. Stagnant. We gotta get that harbor. And we also gotta get this Hindu thing, but that's only seven turns, so we can make it. Bagan, this is my problem child. Three turns to the ashram, 23 to the sauna. We're gonna make it! Yay! And Saigon. We still need the Buddhist. Do it for the extra turn. Ah, we gotta make sacrifices if we're gonna get the historic victory. There's no way to optimize that one any better. Dang it. Okay. And then one more look at Saigon. Nothing to be helped. Still waiting on the Buddhist monk. Is that coming this time? Oh, it's there right now. Can we possibly convert? No, I gotta select something. Go the worker. Now convert some people. Fingers crossed. I hope to God this works. Oh, that was a bad sound. That was a good sound. It worked. All right. Let me switch the production to the Buddhist sangha. 30 turns, 
That's not quick enough. We've only got... Oh... 27. Maybe 26. Five. These guys will finish in four. We go up here, we build the mine, that'll take seven more. That'll kick up the production, right? I hope. Oh, we need a fishing boat here too. We can't afford to stop production yet. Hey, look at that. They're so close. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I bet you they could meet in a turn or two and take them off this island. But yeah, we could meet like here and take them back to Eurasia and explore Siberia or Russia or China or something. Okay, this one I think we gotta get the road. Do we need the road? Is that gonna help? Oops. Yeah. See, I don't even think roads matter anymore. It used to be you had to build the road on the resource to get the resource, um, giving you a bonus in your city. But I noticed that almost all the resources you get them immediately now. Except for Elephant, I think I had to build a road to get that one. Very strange. I'm not sure at all. Uh, but we're going to skip the road. Ooh, we could also build a mine there. But which one's going to be quicker? Does it take longer to build a mine if it's on a rainforest? Maybe. It might. And if I build it here, though, the Chinese might take it back. Uh, it's a gamble either way. Let's do it on the rainforest. Yeah. Uh, I was saying it would be nice to get paper so I could trade maps, but then... No, that's not what lets you trade maps. It is... Cartography? Yeah, this one. Alright, we do need paper for that. We need machinery. I don't think the Khmer had any of this stuff, to be honest with you. Or maybe they just didn't care to build it. I guess. Alright, wait again. So on. How long is that? Twelve turns, so it'll be six or seven. We're gonna make it. Let's go say hi to the Koreans.
finishing 11 turns, we've got 19 turns left, maybe 18. Twenty-two in the mines, four turns away, and it's gonna be close. I think Saigon's gonna slow us down. Two more turns on the line. So, all right, we have sixteen turns to meet our objective, and they're going to do it in twelve. Right. Everything looks good. So, I want to go for the mine because Bagan really needs it. I wonder what the Koreans are up to. Tragedy has struck just beyond your border. The Chinese Empire struggles to feed all of its hungry people in Hong Kong and die with the owners of famine. Um, we are unable to assist what we get. Nothing. Open the granaries, minus 50% food plus one relations. I think they're collapsing anyway, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, sorry. Goody, we're taking all of Myanmar. Pushing into Yunnan province. Oh, that's all supposed to be ours? Wow, I thought this was like Myanmar, but all of this must be Myanmar, because it's green. That may be an uh, overestimate of the Khmer Empire. We can see what's up here. And now what? I don't want to build a farm. I think they said I can build farms on rainforest. That's my special power. It's Plantation is just money. Money. I kind of want to go back to Bangkok and develop that.
We need a fishing boat. We need a worker. That's the top priority. And we got 10 turns left. Looks like we're just about done with historic objective one. They want war with the Chinese. If only I had an army, I would totally do it, but they're three times my strength. Easy for you to say, you're on an island. But they are collapsing still. The Mongols will be here in 10 turns or less. Who's this? Musketeers. Chinese? Oh, they're Korean. Oh, no, no, no. They have, like, spears or something. Alright. Got a road. What should we do now? Back to Bangkok, I think. This is this temple that I can't pronounce, and I don't think that's accurate, folks. I don't think they started with mud like that and then just that. I think that's made of granite pieces that are immaculately carved to fit into each other. There was never a mound of mud, except maybe in like prehistoric times. That's just my guess. Somebody prove me wrong. Um, they're not happy. I wasn't, I wasn't watching closely enough. And this is the worst thing that can happen. I should probably resign and just close the game. I think we just lost because we got a few turns of unhappy. Our options are, oh, we could send an elephant here. Make them grow much faster. With this. Harbor, get more food from the sea tiles. Check they're happy, yeah. Hanoi is not terribly happy. Slow the growth a little bit. Uh, actually, we should slow it a lot because we're about to get crabs. And that's going to increase food growth even further. but I'm kind of going for the bananas. I like all the workers to work together and that way you finish quicker and you get the benefits faster. And I always like to imagine that there's some sort of cumulative effect. All right, I said I need to move the elephant before I forget. Because of the unhappy, oh. <laughs> I guess better unhappy in Hanoi than in my capital. Somebody help me. I already have two, all they give me is healthy and food. But I'm at a point where I need to start thinking about food and growing more. But this gives me healthy and food too. It's not really gonna make any difference. What else you got? You wanna throw silk in? Let's do it. No. Sorry. Floods, blah blah blah, the road is destroyed. That may have just cost me. It's just the road. Thank God it's not the mine or I would have lost. How close are we? We've got five, six, seven turns. And this will be done in two. Everything is done except for in Hanoi. Yep, we just need that one more Buddhist monastery. 
by turn 90. Next objective, we have till 1452, city size 12 on average, and tons and tons of culture. We need a beeline for population and culture. We need an army to stop people from wanting to conquer us because we're stretched really thin. We need to get people more happy happy. Jeez, they're going too fast here, too. Yeah, we gotta focus more on happiness. Things that make them happy are tea. Yeah, we'll get these. These things will make them happy. Looks like Kolkata is about to be conquered. First I gotta do this shit. Okay, uh, I'll need this. Oops. And then I can do the work with them now. Happiness. They're just not happy enough to grow that fast yet. If we play our cards right, we might even be one of the first nations to get cartography. And if that scout can cross Eurasia, we might be the first to tech we circumnavigate the globe. Okay, objective one complete. Next you need uh, something to make them happy. Archers in six turns. Temple in ten. Thirty-eight. Thirty. I think we should go with an archer. much food. There's way too much food here, man. Chapter. Here come the Mongols. Almost want to turn around so I could watch China get sacked. But we do have a goal to meet. Jesus is taking forever. Build the plantation already. Oh, I wasn't even looking at my budget over here. Um, we're basically broke. Our science is strapped for cash. Uh, is this Charlemagne? Poland. 
and borders with Poland. Okay, road or not to road? See, we don't need the road because it already shows we got three bananas. Okay, and we're going way too fast again. What we really, really need is something to make them happy. Spices. Or die. Should do it. Or tea. This is Russia. Russia's not gonna give me open borders, I might not be able to get through. Our first archer, so it would seem. Well, already it's out of control. What else will make them happy? Temple and eight. But the temple is it will create culture against the Chinese, so I think we should do that. Or, let's do a worker. Let's do a worker, and we can use the food production to make the worker faster. Not as fast as I thought. We go north or south? That is the question, and I think we want to go south to avoid Russia. What is this? Oh, great profit, because Pagan spawns as an independent city-state with a wonder, this thing, the Shwa Dagan Paya. Uh, I think that's in um, Rangoon, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what that is. What do we got? More production, more gold. Yeah, yeah. I already said that. We got that like 20 turns ago. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention and Bangkok is kind of happy. Oh no. Too fast. Oh, look at that. And because of that, one of these things, 
we can build a priest. Yeah, it's the Buddhist stupa. 